A lot of people are asking us how long can coronavirus live on surfaces? We are seeing this question over and over on social media. According to the National Institutes of Health, it can be airborne for up to three hours. It can live on plastic and steel for three days. It lasts on copper for around four hours and it can survive many hours, perhaps one day on cardboard. So here's the question a lot of you are asking. What about touching your packages and your mail? This package right here, I got it. And then I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't touch this. So I set it down in my house and I didn't touch it for like five days until today. And then you'll see what I did in a minute to, to sterilize it. So on my Facebook page, Miss Fox says, I open my packages on the porch wearing gloves. Jane Ellen says, we have never had to watch every detail of our life like this before. I am with you, Jane Ellen. It's kind of weird, isn't it? And Susan C. Schultz, a retired teacher from Bishop Kenny, says, I don't bring boxes into the house. So are we too paranoid, paranoid or is it really bad to touch your mail right now? At our house, mail zips in and plunks down. So now I'm thinking, is this germy? I mean, who touched all this? Well, here's what I've learned from Dr. Payel Coley, an expert on disease prevention, trained at MIT and Harvard. So it is important if you're handling any mail or packages that you're gonna bring into your home, that you actually sanitize the surface of those packages. And if you're not gonna bring them into your home, just leave them in the garage or whatever, then make sure you wash your hands after you handle those packages. She says the latest data shows coronavirus can last on cardboard for 24 hours. And what about letters? With respect to paper, it's certainly hard to sanitize it very well. But if you take a wipe and just kind of wipe the surface of it a little bit, that may be a reasonable thing to do. We don't believe it lasts on paper very long. And the risk is quite low of, again, being transmitted. The object is not going to directly infect you. It's you touching the object and then touching your face to really inoculate that virus into your nose, your eyes, or your mouth. That's how you're going to get infected. So if you're just careful and mindful of what you're touching and then wash your hands, it should be totally fine. Like I keep saying, better safe than sorry. So thank you for the really good questions. You know what? We're all thinking the same things right now, aren't we? And we are trying to answer your worries and your questions. So I invite you to join our Facebook group. Just look for Facts Not Fear. We have doctors and medical experts answering your questions there on that Facebook group. They have all the latest data and the research to help you.